Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner, welcome back to another episode of Blood Omen 2. We're still in the industrial quarter. I'm still replaying... From, um... Still replaying the parts where I lost... Well, I, I didn't lose, I didn't actually get audio. I actually forgot to uh, press the record button. That kind of sucked. Okay, we're in a fairly large room. And there are about four or five guys here. Some of which can be assassinated. Oh, I hear music. I think I've been seen. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's already glowing. No, not like that. Oh, not another one of these. Damn it, there we go. Where am I? Not where I wanted to be. I'm actually right here. I thought, I thought the checkpoint was a bit. Um, well, it was before the elevator. I really hate not being able to cancel the animations fast enough. Yeah, these guys start glowing as soon as I come close. No chance for assassination. completely missed that somehow. Not that I'm complaining. Let's get a double sword because it looks cool. box and then pull the lever. Ah, 
Ah, cool, checkpoints. Time for more charm. One switch. Two switches. I don't even need it to pull both of them. One was enough. Now we pull that and this whole contraption will stop whatever it does. There are some more switches here, they don't do anything. This one... will open that door. And start sending some carts around, we'll have to head back to this room now. You can see those two doors over at the end there are open. Let's see, how do I get there? Through here? Ah yes, through here. cool here. Let's just move on to the next area. Which is... Ah, this one. Nothing here except this elevator. There's that lever here that moves this contraption. Not sure it does anything. Damn, that takes... <laughs> That does a lot of damage. Now here... There's this flame over here. Now what we need to do is... Push this over here to block the track. And pull this over here to open the track. When we press this lever, this cart with the explosive on top will go this way. And thanks to that flame, it will explode. Leaving many workers dead, but we don't really care about them. And it opens a very big hole in the wall. Let's just feed on the corpses.
Now one can be assassinated, but there's a glowy guy right there. So you gotta be quick about it. Otherwise he's gonna get close to us and see us. An, an unblockable one. Okay, let's get a fresh weapon and jump across. I said jump across, not not charm the chasm. You don't belong around Where are we? Oh, we're getting there. Some more music. And if I'm not mistaken, we're about to fight Sebastian the Vampire. Fiend that dogged my shadow showed himself at last, and in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further, and now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me. But I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly. And all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphon Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me. Okay, luckily I've done this before, so I know how to defeat Sebastian. You see that steam going around? It burns. It does... It deals some damage.
But Fury works well, but then he will do a charge attack, which I kind of forgot about. Ow. Oh, I, f I forgot about it again. Now I think I'm going to die. Let's just rush this. Let's make it quicker. We also take damage from this. I can't lose that, that much health. Come on, Sebastian. I thought I dodged that. You can also do regular attacks. Doesn't need to be the fury attack. Okay, now the second phase begins, he'll start spinning around and create a little whirlwind, that'll do damage. There are also two sources of steam going around the room. Now the trick here is when he stops, he'll jump towards us and do a kick. So we need to stay opposite of him, so when he jumps, he'll land right into the energy whirlwind. So we have to avoid the steam and keep an eye on him. Oh, gotta go this way. This is actually this is actually a bit of a weird fight because I think he creates the whirlwind from spinning around because it, it only starts when he spins when he runs around in circles so and I mean he jumps towards me so he should see the damn thing Now this guy is going to raise the platform and Sebastian will try to destroy the stone. Destroy the jewel. But when, when we jump up here he'll jump down, when we jump down he'll jump up. However, we can do a little charming. and activate this and get more steam going and now he has to come up here and fight us so now just repeat what we did he won't do the long um, charge jumping attack here not sure if there's an easier way to do damage this is just what I did have to remember to dodge that
Come on. I wonder if there's a trick to it, since we don't seem to do a lot of damage. But it works. I don't think I can really throw him down there. Or maybe... Or me oh, maybe I can. Well, that works. I knew there had to be some sort of trick. Tell me of the Nexus Stone and this portal. What is its purpose here? Speak, and I will spare your life. <laughs> Come, Cain. You lie in your throat and we both know it. You are going to kill me. Indulge me then, before you die. I'll tell you so that I may see your face when you learn. You are powerless. You cannot win. Your death is inevitable. The Nexus Stone's portal leads to an ancient device, deep underground, that will spell your destruction, Cain. A new reign will begin in Nosgoth. What is the purpose of this device? How will it serve the Sarathan Lord? Alas, he has not entrusted me with that knowledge. But soon, everyone will know it. His plans are even now coming into fruition. Where is the device? Where? Under the Earth. It lies beneath a meridian. Seek for it, if you will. I die happy in the knowledge that all your efforts will be wasted. Oh, Sebastian. Our destiny could have been glorious. The land was ours for the taking. History would have been rewritten in our image. But not everyone shared my vision. And now your time is up. Your death will only make me stronger. I hope that knowledge comforts you. In your grave. Not quite sure what this power is going to be. Maybe running? That's what Sebastian seemed to do. Alright, Kane, go get the next stone. I remove a stone and suddenly everything explodes. saw you thrown from the roof of the factory as it was destroyed. He carried you here. The Seraphan were too occupied to notice you. Ah, I see that you have the Nexus Stone. And I see that you were courteous enough not to relieve me of it while I lay unconscious. I met another old friend, a vampire, guarding it. Before I killed him, he told me something unsettling. He spoke of an ancient device underground that will bring about victory for the Saraphan Lord. What do you know of this, Volador? 
I have heard tell of strange discoveries deep underground. Ancient legends speak of huge machines deep in the earth, left by the gods in eons past. And I know of one who can tell us the truth of this matter. She is a seer, a being said to be older even than I. We are fortunate in that she owes me a favor. Go to her, Kate, and learn what she knows. Go to her? This city is a walled fortress. How do you propose I get out? There is a secret way out of the city. I will show it to you. You may follow a canyon that leads north to her abode. The way will not be easy. Strange beasts roam outside the city, preying on travelers. The people call them demons. I believe I've met one of these already. I hope your seer's knowledge is worth the risk. Did I meet a demon? When did I meet a demon? Not sure. Can't remember. What I do know is that this is exactly the area I was when I um, finished recording those episodes where I um, forgot to record the audio. So from here on out, it's all new stuff for me. However, it's also time to end the episodes. Time's up. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed another episode of Blood Omen 2, and as usual, don't miss the next episode because I won't. I'll see you guys next time.